So in this video we'll be talking about some of the most common uh, error codes uh, that you may see from your GE air conditioner. Uh, of course GE air conditioner is one of the best selling air conditioners around but uh, even and then you get to see uh, a few issues here and there. And uh, uh, one of the ways that the machine communicates that it has issues uh, uh, somewhere in the system is by displaying certain air, uh, certain error codes. So in this particular video we'll be looking at some of these and tell you what they mean and also give you tips on how you can go about troubleshooting uh, your air conditioner uh, so uh, come along with me if you are uh, air conditioner GE air conditioner is is uh, having some fault and uh, and uh, it is giving you or it's throwing an error code so uh, the first error code that uh, that you need to know about is the error code 88, GE air conditioner error code 88, and you will see a double eight symbol uh, 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 coming up on your display. Um, it's, it's a fairly common uh, error code, and uh, usually it points to a, a problem with the board. And uh, when I say the board, I mean the front control board on your machine. Um, so um, it will be displaying uh, error code 88 if there is an issue with your AC's uh, front control board. Now uh, to fix this error code, uh, the first thing that you consider uh, that you can consider as always is resetting your your, your air conditioner and uh, resetting uh, the GE air conditioner is quite simple. You just need to power cycle it. If, however, power cycle uh, does not help uh, there is some procedures that you may perform on your on your AC and uh, specifically you'll be looking at bypassing the front board uh, the, the front board yes it is important but sometimes uh, 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 the, the machine can still function uh, when it is disconnected you know when it is bypassed and uh, a lot of times uh, people have to bypass the front board uh, for the error code 88 to uh, to go uh, that is because uh, that error code specifically uh, comes from that board and uh, it's, it's not a difficult process what I'll do is uh, below here I'll, I'll, I'll share a link to a video that, that uh, you can go to that demonstrates how to exactly uh, bypass the front board on your, on your air conditioner uh, that is when you are seeing this this error code and I hope that will help you uh, do do it right uh, so that uh, your machine can start working again you basically have to cut, cut a few cables here and there and then and then you you, you attach a, a separate uh, list of cables together you connect them together uh, to bypass the board and everything else will be working all right uh, so yes, as I said, it's not really complicated. Just follow the steps in that car video and uh, in that small video and you should be right. The next error code that uh, you need to know how to tackle is the error code A1. Error code A1 is also another very common. And um, for the most part, error code A1 will be saying that there is an internal electrical problem with your system. There is an internal electrical problem somewhere. Uh, inside your AC and uh, no, normally it, it, it is an issue of, uh, of uh, either the filter the filter you might need to set the timer for the filter so that it works properly and uh, and uh, once you do that uh, there is a likelihood that the error code E1 will be resolved uh, so uh, uh, try first and foremost to try and reset the filter, the air filter on your AC. You need to do that correctly. Uh, otherwise, if you do not reset the timer uh, uh, on your, on your, that is the, the air filter timer uh, on your AC, then uh, you may be forced to buy a new air filter and then install it uh, for, for the error code E1 to, to go. Um, otherwise, as always, before you even consider resetting the timer for your air filter, uh, try to reset the machine always. You know, this is something that we, uh, I have to keep reminding you. Uh, the best way or the easiest way of, of uh, resolving 
most of these error codes especially when they are random because sometimes they are just random it's going to be a, a small issue a small hiccup uh, with your system is try to power cycle your machine so if you have power cycle it and the error code e1 is still there uh try to try to 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 reset the, the the timer for your air filter otherwise if you reset the timer and your manual can tell you how to do that consider replacing the the, the air filter on your on your on your air conditioner if the error code persists uh, so it's not really a difficult a difficult error uh, to 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 get rid of uh, so look at the at the resetting the timer or just replace the filter and uh, again once you replace the filter remember to reset the timer the next error code is error code e4 on your ge air conditioner quite an easy one this one is it just simply means that the water pan is full so uh it, it occurs on on portable ge air conditioners uh, and it will be coming up whenever the water pan is full so what you need to do once you see the error code e4 uh, on your portable g air conditioner is simply check whether the water bucket is full and uh, yeah you know the sensor that checks the the water level uh will 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 tell the ac that uh, it's full when it is actually full and hence this error code because it cannot operate when it is overflowing so you, all you need to do is empty the water reservoir on your um, on your g portable air conditioner and the error code e4 should uh, should go away so for the error code e4 simply empty the water bucket on your ge portable air conditioner the next error code for this uh, kind of um, uh, air conditioners is the ap error code AP error code typically points to an issue with the main compressor. So your unit main compressor has an issue, and uh, the issue could be something simple like uh, like there being a, a, a short somewhere in the wiring uh, of the compressor. Uh, maybe the, the the compressor is uh, is uh, is clogged. You know there there is some clogs inside, that have settled inside the compressor. So, so the, the error may not be, uh, uh, you know, so complicated, you know, it doesn't mean that you have to replace the compressor, you could solve it by simply cleaning the compressor and the coils, of course, uh, using, uh, using a, a good cleaner, um, otherwise you may need to check the wiring, make sure the wiring is okay, uh, the, you know, the wiring in and around the compressor, you know, the, the, the one that goes to the compressor, check that everything every other wire is connected properly uh you know you don't want uh, some wires to be destroyed because if they are destroyed you may see this this error code uh, uh it happens for example if you are installing a capacitor you know a starting capacitor and 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 you 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 reassembled you reassembled the compressor in a hurry you may see this error code so so this error code says there, there is a problem with your compressor the sensor in the compressor may be may be having an issue that need to be replaced if it is one but before you go there please look at the wiring please make sure that you have cleaned uh the the, the compressor it, it's important you know the area uh, the area around the compressor and including the coils uh using the using a good cleaner uh and most likely you are going to be okay uh, otherwise if nothing works you may need to change out the compressor of course changing out the compressor is not so easy uh, you need you may need to call uh, to call a plow to help you do that uh, so uh, if you want to change the compressor because that's the that's the final result uh, consider you know unless you are pro you may need to 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 make a, a call to a technician to do that for you because uh, sometimes you know uh, getting the, the refrigerant out it, it can be a bit of a problem and yeah, so yeah so otherwise you may just be okay by changing your main compressor sensor so so that should resolve your EP error code if you are seeing EP error code on your machine so look at the wiring uh, look at uh, whether there are clocks there look at the, at the sensor it could be the problem uh, try to change it out and it, uh, finally change out the compressor yeah, if nothing works the other error code is error code e8 uh, if you are seeing error code e8 this one is another simple one because 
it usually says there are clogging issues there is a clogging problem there are clogs uh, that are blocking the venting system so if the vents are clogged then you are likely uh, to see the error code number E8 on the display you know when the the vents are clogged the compressor will be overloaded because airflow is is, is hampered and and uh, when the airflow is hampered uh, there's going to be a lot of heat remaining inside and that is how the error code number E8 comes up on the display so all you have to do if you want to get rid of error code E8 if it is what you are seeing is simply um, clean around you know keep uh, clean the area in and around the vent so make sure that the venting system uh, you know uh, uh, that is supporting your window GE air conditioner has been uh, has been uh, cleaned properly uh, so of course you may need to to take the back cover and uh, and uh, uh, clean uh, the debris uh, uh, below the fan also around the fan uh, making sure that the squirrel cage is, is also uh, is also cleaned uh, you know you may need to leach to the squirrel cage make sure it's also cleaned and um, you know once you have cleaned all over the place and made sure that uh, that the vents are, are now are now breathing uh, then uh, you should be okay the error code uh, E8 is likely to go away so to resolve the error code E8 simply clean the, uh, the area in allow the venting system the fan and all that area uh, you can you, you, you can easily do that you don't have to be a technician to do that it's something that you can really do very very quickly and that should be okay uh, that should be, should help you get rid of this ella ella code there are a few other ella codes that you may see if, uh, when you're using your GE air conditioner once in a while and this includes the GE air conditioner ella code A5 the ella code A5 this points to a coil sensor issue so when you see error code a5 they say there's a coil sensor issue uh, maybe because the filter uh, uh, is dirty or or maybe it is actually dead so the, the coil sensor could also uh, could also be damaged uh, you may have damaged uh, it when when you are trying to clean that happens so the solution here is to replace the, 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 the coil sensor. So if you are seeing error code E5, try to replace the coil sensor. And uh, of course, if you cannot do that, uh, consider uh, uh, calling in a pro to, to, to do it for you. So uh, change out the coil sensor if you are seeing error code E5. Error code uh, F1 is also uh, 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 common uh, and uh, this one refers to or uh, it occurs when a, a sensor has failed and I'm, I'm referring to the sensor on the cold side uh, coil so the sensor on the cold side coil may have failed and if, if that fails then you are going to be seeing error code F1 so if you are seeing this this uh, this error code uh, you may need to you may need to uh, to 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 check uh to check the the the, 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 th the sensor on the code side oil otherwise uh, there's also a possibility that the thermocouple the thermocouple and sometimes these acs could have two thermocouples uh one of them could be could be gone both of them could actually be be, be damaged so uh, there's also a chance if you're seeing error code f1 the thermocouple is bad so change the sensor on the code side call and if that one does not help change the thermocouple both of them if necessary uh error code f2 uh says that the discharge air temperature sensor is is bad so if the discharge air temperature sensor is bad you get to see this error code uh, and that uh, means you need to change the 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 discharge air temperature sensor so change the discharge air temperature sensor if you are seeing the ge f2 error code uh, the other error code that you may see for a GE portable air conditioner is FL. If you are seeing a FL GE portable air conditioner, that is on your GE portable air conditioner, uh, and you have tried to reset it and it has not worked, uh, then you may need to to you may need to to clean the drum uh, the drain pump filter. So. Uh, if you are seeing the the error code FL on your GE portable air conditioner uh, and uh, power cycling it does not work, uh, consider consider draining uh, consider draining your appliance. Uh, once you you drain your appliance, 
uh, because it is says that uh, there is a problem there is a problem with uh, with uh, with with water you know with uh, somewhere in the system then all might be okay otherwise uh, consider cleaning the drain pump filter so consider clean, uh, cleaning the drain pump filter if you are having uh, uh, the error code FL uh, at the same time error code F4 means the outdoor temperature sensor has a problem and in this case it is mostly because of blocked vents so if the, if the vents are blocked you may additionally see the error code F4 so if you are seeing error code F4 please try to remove any obstructions that you might see in or around the venting system so once you you remove any obstruction there's a there's a good uh, uh, chance that the error code F4 will go away because it is simply a problem with uh, the outdoor temperature sensor and the outdoor temperature sensor will not be working properly if there are obstructions around around the, the vent. Uh, error code E3 error code E3 uh, says there is a problem with the indoor fan speed. So the the, the fan speed the indoor fan speed is is not is not being measured correctly. And uh, here you want to check the fan motor. Uh, check the the motor the the fan motor and uh, also be sure to check if the fan blades are, are working properly uh, try to check the fan blades see if they are working properly whether they are damaged or or maybe or maybe uh, broken at some point you may need to change them you, may, you know you, you may actually need to change the entire fan if this error persists so otherwise it could be the problem with the with, with the with the fan motor you may need to change that otherwise you may need to change the entire fan setup if you if the error could easily persist yeah, so those are the most common error codes and I hope that uh, you have an idea on how to troubleshoot them uh, after watching this one. Remember, uh, remember that, uh, that uh, you may need to, to, to get professional, professional uh, uh, service if, if uh, uh, any of these error codes uh, continues to bother your AC or maybe if you are not able to do this uh, on your own. Uh, otherwise, don't be quick to replace your your gear conditioner once you see once you see any of these error code. As you can see, it's not the end of the world. You can actually get to resolve it yourself. Uh, sometimes by taking some of these steps. So good luck, and I hope that uh, your gear conditioner will be working properly after this.